everybody in here. Yep, it's raining. I've been out in the rain. I had to fix my my little water catchment system. So let's go over and see how it's doing. Please let it be working. Yep, it is working. We've got a full barrel here, and this is emptying into this one. Very good. When it starts raining really super hard, this really shoots out into the middle of the barrel. So this one isn't even remotely close to being filled yet. This one is empty. So hopefully when this one is full, it'll come out of this hole and fill this one. I don't know how much water I'm going to get today, but hopefully it is a lot. Yep, I just stood out here in the rain and washed my hair. Yes, I have my clothes on. But it felt so good. It was just pouring down rain. I thought, you know what? Why not? I'm washing my hair. I was watching Judy with the chicks today, and I noticed that there was one particular chick that keeps going up right up to Julie's nose and then pecks at her. <laughs> and Judy doesn't seem to really care. She just keeps watching and let's see if she does it again. <gasps> yep, <laughs> it's the same one. It's not, yeah, <laughs> look at that. It is not, uh, it's not pasty, but it, um, it's the one with the cleanest butt out of the whole pack. <laughs> that, that's how I can judge my chicks, which one has the cleanest butt. Oh, and by the way, Pasty Butt is no longer going to be known as Pasty Butt. She is now Patsy because her butt, although she still has a little crust down towards the bottom, the top part is clean and the bottom part is just going to kind of come off on its own. She's got her down feathers. not They're not really feathers. I know they are. Aren't, um, but she's got all that growing back, so I'll show that to you maybe in the next video. I'm not sure if I'll get to it in this one. But Judy just keeps watching them. And you know what's interesting, too, is she seems to know when the chicks are in distress. She'll be out looking out the window or something, and I'll be in doing something with the chicks or picking one up. Or Oh, look it. Look it. Is it going to happen again? No, nope, not this time. But she And the chicks will start chirping. And then Judy will just kind of like come around the corner and like get in front of me. And she's like, no way, mom, don't hurt my baby chicks. So she seems to know the difference between their little chirping sounds and when they seem to be in distress. So I actually think that that is pretty darn cool. But she'll just sit there and watch them. Sometimes she'll get a little bit antsy. Uh, like I, I just cleaned the coop and um, I don't know if it smells different to her or something, but... Um, she she'll get her nose and kind of peck at the at the uh, little hardware cloth that's on the side of it. But those chicks just they are they are just man they are very energetic and they love to kick that uh, straw around all over the place. It's crazy. They make a mess of everything. But you know what? That's okay. I've got a vacuum. I made breakfast this morning with one zucchini that I got from my garden and I chopped it all up and I put it in a skillet with some other peppers, the, the red, uh, not, the red cubanelles, yeah, the red cubanelles and uh, some sausage. So I chopped up some of the seeds and some of the flesh just real finely, uh, tried to get them as small as I could and put them down in there to see if they would like them. And guess what? They do like them. It, I've read in multiple different places that the seeds are a natural dewormer. And so it looks like they really like it. They're going for it. They are definitely going for it. So we'll see how long it takes them to eat it all up. Today I've just been sitting around watching them aside from going out and in the plane in the rain and whatnot. But look at here, yeah, they are they are chowing down on it. it. They seem to like the seeds the most as opposed to the flesh. They still eat the flesh, but they are going for the chopped up seeds first, which is good because it'll deworm them. And there you go, it's gone. It is totally gone and they loved it. Take a look at this. Judy went and got her hedgehog toy that she has not shredded to bits yet. I cannot believe it. She loves that thing. And she just put it underneath the first because she just loves to snuggle with it. It's almost like she was saying, Mom, you're not going to let me snuggle with these baby chicks. So I'm going to get my furry, my furry friend and, and snuggle and just watch the chicks that way. She'll just sit here like that for hours. It's so cute. Oh, and I found a tick on the inside of the screen. And I, so I, I, I got it and I killed it with fire basically. And I put it in the spoon just to see if anybody would want to eat it. 
And ye, let's see. Yep, yep, yep. Now they're all going to chase it. Now, I, what I don't know if, if that one chick dropped it and then somebody else got it. I don't know. Let, let's take another look. She gets it. Did she drop it? Did somebody else eat it? I don't know. Let's look in slow motion. She gets it. Do we see her drop it anywhere? I don't see her drop it anywhere. So I think she got it. I just think the other chicks knew she had it and they wanted it. So the good thing is, is these chickens love to eat ticks. I was hoping all day that I would be able to capture on film all four of them up on the roost at once and check this out. Ta-da! They finally did it. All four of them are up there. Patsy is the one who started getting on the roost first. And she just gets up there and hangs out. I think the other birds were kind of like a little bit jealous of her because they would pick at her from, you know, underneath. But one by one, they each kind of flapped their wings, kind of flew up there. Sometimes they'd fall down. They kept trying, but they, they all learned to get up on the roost. So thank you to the subscriber who suggested that I just get a stick and put it in there and let them roost on it, practice roosting at any rate. They seem to really enjoy it, so thank you. Also, I'd like to talk a little bit about their nutrition. I will not be feeding them any medicated chick starter feed. I will not be doing any antibiotics if I can help it, especially not from the start. I do want my birds to develop a healthy immune, immune system on their own, and so I'm keeping their their brooder, of course, appropriately clean. And um, the I am 90% of their food that they're eating is the the laying hen chicken feed that was given to me by a subscriber. I crush it up for them so that it's in smaller pieces. It's just a little bit lower in protein, so I just supplement their diet with protein, things like bugs and worms and whatnot. And also, don't worry about grit. I take them outside and they peck around in the dirt, in which they seem to love doing. Uh, a little concerned about the clay because the clay is so fine. I don't know that that's fine enough to aid in their digestion. So I uh, I have sand that I give them. It's, it's not fine sand like powdery sand and it's not like rocky type sand it's just somewhere in between and so I scatter that around for them in their brooder a little bit put some little a uh, little bit in their feed bowl and uh, they just get in there and uh, you know just take it up a little bit by little um, also I'm going to talk to you not right now but eventually about diatomaceous earth I have some of that as well and that seems to be working great. There's uh, various different uses for diatomaceous earth, so we'll talk about that later. So anyhow, that's a mouthful. The chickens are doing great. They're growing, as you can see, and no more pasty butts, so I'm very happy about that. And well, that's all I got for you guys today. See you in the next video. Thanks for watching everybody. I hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure you like, subscribe, hit the bell, and y'all have a good one.